Hello everyone. In this video, we will explain how to use the W5100S module to connect to the Raspberry Pi RP2040 and write a MicroPython script to implement an example of setting static network address information. First, let's take a look at the table of contents of this chapter. It mainly divided into MicroPython introduction and introduction of WI's Net Ethernet chip with test demo. Learn about MicroPython. MicroPython is a compact and efficient implementation of Python. Operates on microcontrollers and constrained environments. It includes a small portion of the standard library of the Python 3 programming language and optimized for microcontrollers and constrained environments. The MicroPython PA board is a compact electronic circuit board that runs MicroPython on bare machine. This provides you with a low-level Python operating system that allows user to create a variety of electronic projects. MicroPython is packed with advanced features. For example, interactive prompts, arbitrary precision integers, closures, list comprehensions, generator exception handling, etc. But it's compact enough to fit into only 256k of code space and 16k of RAM. MicroPython is a design to be compatible with regular Python, so you can easily transfer code from your desktop to a microcontroller. The advantages of MicroPython includes, using Python language, range of libraries, easy to use, portability and open source. Possible MicroPython application includes IoT devices, robot, automation, education, and scientific research. W5100S, W5500 and W6100 are the three mainstream WI's Net Ethernet chips. From this comparison table, it shows 1. W5100S and W6100 support 8-bit data bus interface. Network transmission speed will be better than W5500. 2. W6100 supports IPv6 and is pin-to-pin -pin compatible with W5100S. If users who have plans to upgrade to IPv6, they could consider W5100S. 3. W5500 has more sockets than W5100S and send and receive buffers. WI's Nets Ethernet chip uses hardwired DCP IP protocol stack. It improves the efficiency of data transmission and reduces MCU's workload. This provides low end MCU's to have Ethernet feature. Let's take a look at the flowchart to familiarize the steps of the program. After starting, first, we need to initialize the SPI related pins. Then there is the network address information configuration, set to static IP acquisition mode. Then check whether the link is normal. If it is abnormal, and the program. Normal means the program runs normally. Print configuration information. Then let's take a look at the preparations needed for this test. For software, we need to have tiny code editor. For hardware, we need W5100 SIO module and Raspberry Pi Pico development board. Or we can directly use the WI's Net W5100 SEVB Pico development board. In addition, we also need micro USB interface data cable and network cable. These are the connection method for WI's net solution. Use data USB cable to connect PC and module. For SPI wiring, please based on the table above. Finally, connecting Ethernet cable to your PC with your board. Next. Let's take a look at the codes. We directly open the network underscore install.py file. You can see it in the w 5 by underscore init function. Initialized SPI, as well as registering SPI related pins and reset pins into the library. The next step is to activate the network and configure static network address information. When configuration is not successful, information about registers related to the network address will be printed out. It can help us better troubleshooting the problems. At last, it prints out the configured network address information. After understanding the codes, we will download firmware from the official website and install into the board. First press and hold the boot key, then click the run button. At this time, a virtual USB disk will appear on the computer. Drag and drop the firmware to the virtual USB disk. If the virtual USB disk disappears, the installation is successful. Then we run the program directly. 
you can do this in the window below. See the configuration information printed out. Next step, press Windows plus R, enter CMD into the computer terminal. Ping our configured IP address. It pings. This indicates the test is successful. This video ends here. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to know more, please leave a message in the comment area or contact me via private message.